Show. Roger Moon too from Voice of America, Washington, D.C. I want to thank you guys for listening to tuning to uh, VOA, as you guys do uh, every Wednesday, every Friday. We thank you guys for listening to the RM Show. This is your boy, Roger Moon too, and today we're going to listen to some great music. My man, Jean-Louis, is going to be with me, and we'll have our guest Sunday, VOA. He's himself, VOA, so he's going to be with us. We will be discussing about online dating. But we'll also be talking about some great artists of the continent, such as um, Starboy, WizKids, you know, Sarkody, London, all these guys. Matter of fact, they ha- actually have a song right now that's killing it. This song is electric, and we'll listen to it right now. It's a great song, and Sunday is going to tell us if he actually likes the song. London. London. I've been waiting for you all my life. Say, me this love, it may no pass me by. This kind of really be tight. I'm a girl for the people I go open your case. Just gotta let you come my life. I know if you let you run away this time. And I gotta let you know, say, many things they bust up my mind, okay? Baby girl, you're the best for me. Sometimes she wake up and she dress for me. Oh, and nobody talk about you by that place. God punish that destiny. Say, baby girl, you be my destiny. Say, the end of my life, baby girl, you my company. Yeah, I'm in the zone, you're in the zone. Love is electric vibe. No one touch this electric vibe. Baby girl, I really wanna waste my time on you. But Monday when you're calling, oh. Say bad man will live for you when you're calling him. Baby girl, no trolling him. Say bad man will live for you Say when you're calling him. Say she passes every day, eh, eh. every minute, every day. Eh, eh. She know I like the gunplay, eh, eh. on a really rough day. Eh, eh. And when she dance on the beat, I dey crazy. Eh, eh. She dey make a man crazy. Eh, eh. She say my love me make a crazy. Eh, eh. They say she need me many days, need me for the pain. I'm in the zone, you're in the zone. Love is electric vibe. No one touch this electric vibe. Baby girl, I really wanna waste my time on you. But Monday when you're calling up, say bad man will it live on you when you're calling up. Baby girl, no trolling up. Say bad man will it live on you when you're calling up. Oh, what's on your feet and beat the ground for you? Hang on your love until the sky turn blue. Get yeah, on a go and the chase for you. Yeah, for you. It's true. I'm in the zone. You're in the zone. Love is electric vibe. No one touch this electric vibe. Baby girl, I really wanna waste my time on you. But Monday when you're calling up, say bad man will it live on you when you're calling up. Baby girl, no trolling up. Say bad man will it live on you when you're calling up. You're listening to the RM Show, uh, The Voice of America. This is Roger Muntu. Uh, that was such a good song by uh, Starboy, Kid, Sunday Shomari, VOA, our colleague here of uh, Swahili Service, correct? Yes, sir. Man, Sunday, so great to have you. jean <laughs> we, we so got to do the Sunday what we always do when we have our first-time guests for the first time. we got to clap our hands on Sunday. It's the first time ever, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you know, what, what I was telling Sunday, right, I was like, look, I always come to your show. Oh, yeah. You better come to my show list today. <laughs> yes. So I'm glad you're actually able to make it, man. Paying back, man. Paying back. <laughs> <laughs> 
and this is just the beginning. Yes, so sir. this is great, Sunday. This Thank is uh, you. this is our show in English, and as you do the RM show, we always do it in French, and now right. we uh, doing it in, in English because uh, so I'm many honored, man. so many anglophone you requested. You got so many people out here that need to listen to the show. You know, right? I mean, they're missing out <laughs> if they don't listen to this show. So today yeah. we have a great subject, and, and and the reason why I wanted you to be on this show because right. um. I, I know you've dealt with this subject in uh, mm-hmm. so many level at, uh, on your shows as well. Uh, online dating, yeah. you know, <laughs> online dating. Look, I'm just saying. I say, look, if you just started online dating, or perhaps some of them you are veterans. I don't know. Some people are veterans out there. Uh, there are a few important questions to ask your potential date, so you can uh, more easily determine if he. Mm-hmm. Oh, she is yeah. uh, a suitable one, you know, a suitable match for you. Right. Do you agree with me on that one? Oh, well, yeah, I agree yeah. with you on that yeah. one. Yeah. Right? With you. Yeah, yeah. there's a few you questions to, that you yeah, should. Yeah, you have to ask. Yeah. You, have to, you have to do your To investigate, homework. right? Yeah. Exactly, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. exactly. Because now, I'm telling you, I'm, I, when, I, when I was in Ghana, I found yeah. out that in Ghana, in Africa, the online dating business mm-hmm. is also growing. Mm. Yeah, it's wow. also growing. You know, people think that that is only in North America, yeah. in Europe. Yeah. They don't think that this thing is also growing in Africa. So right. it's a good thing that you saw for yourself. Exactly. I saw wow. myself. And, and as you know, yeah. those high tech companies and those uh, web companies, mm. everybody's like trying to uh, make money somehow. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. growing and it keeps <laughs> growing. And you know, online dating is a big thing right now. Yeah, you know, man. so we uh, were asking about what, what kind of questions to. Um, you know that you can think about asking but what, what I, and that's what I wanted to have you I know you have to leave but we're not trying to play with your brain a little bit what kind of question would you uh, or, or your or your listeners told you that you need to ask if you try to investigate about this online day because I mean let's say not everybody mm-hmm. online are bad people oh, oh no right okay no, of course all right not everybody's bad yeah. people yeah. you're right yeah. and and maybe I should ask you before I say anything <laughs> uh, I'm in trouble I'm in trouble man. but hey go ahead have you Yo, tried just... online dating before you got married when you were a single man <laughs> you mean American online oh, yeah. well when back then man the internet was not good man not good <laughs> So you're old school. You never had a chance. Old school, man. Back then, we used to write letters, man. You send a little letter. Yeah. You're like, look, do you love me? Exactly. <laughs> My name yeah. is Roger. Roger. Last name, Muntu. I, I do this for a living. You know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, George is agreeing with me. Uh, we're going to hear what oh, George, George has to say. George maybe did that. I'm George sure. probably did that. I, oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jean-Louis did. Oh, maybe. Jean-Louis. Jean-Louis. Uh, not. Jean-Louis was using, uh, you remember those computer dust? Uh-huh. Dust. That was, that was no picture. Dust, man. That was yeah. dust. Didn't no have no picture. Man, no picture. No picture. Just black and white. Mm, stop. Black, black and white. white text. Yeah. But, 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 uh, but, but you're right. Let me ask you. Let me tell you something. Yeah, that's a good question. I around. According to a statistic yes. from something called a website called Brain Research Institute. Correct. You'd be surprised what they say. Yeah. They say one in five relationships mm-hmm. and a little more than one in six marriages mm-hmm. begin online. Those what? marriages yes, began online. They're also talking about seventeen percent of marriages right. and twenty percent of relationships right. began online as well. What? Yeah. So there is some success story on these online dating sites. That is correct. That's and let me tell you something. Yeah. Facebook, too. Facebook, right. Facebook, people think, is a tool just for friendship. Yeah, for good wife, look at pictures. Uh-huh, for pictures and having fun. <laughs> guess what? Some people <laughs> got husbands and wives. Nuh-uh. I tell you that. What? And I am a witness of that. You're a witness yes, of that? Yes, I am. <laughs> No, I, a personal friend is he of mine. a participant to it? I, I, no, no, no. I, 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 I like that question, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look. But a personal friend of mine Real, right. met a lady mm. on Facebook. And they started talking. And guess what? Don't tell me they when, got married. When, yes. And even before they got married, yeah. he came to me and asked me, do you know such and such? I said, yes, I do. And guess what? She was a real person and a nice lady. So I told her, hey, this is a nice lady, man. Wow. And she tried it. And now it's history. These guys are couple. So you know them personally. I'll, yeah, ask, I know I'll, them personally. I'll ask you this Sunday. What yeah. do you think? What What do you think are the reasons that make people move away from uh, traditional, traditional dating, dating and looking for people? To, yeah. to, right, right, right. What, what are the reasons you think? Oh, what I are think, the reasons that you can think on top of your head? Yeah, on top of my head, I can think one is broken hearts. You know, when a person is broken hearted by a man, if mm. it's a woman right. or a man by a woman, they right. think, you know what? Yeah. There's nobody out there. Yeah. 
So where do I go to look for somebody? Do I go to church? No. Do I go to the bar? Uh-huh. Do I go to the club? Uh-huh. Maybe they've been all over those places. Right. Some people go to church every Sunday. Right. But yet they haven't seen somebody they really like. Or they go to clubs every Sunday, every Friday night, but they haven't catch up somebody they like. Uh-huh. So they go online and say what? They look at the profile. Right. They look at the person. They start talking. And as soon as they start talking, they get the attachment. It's not a real attachment, but a list is something they can pinpoint and ask questions. Right, right. Like where you're from, yeah. what kind of things you like. You like, yeah. So they find the interest. And sometimes you don't even have to ask. If you look at the profile, Raja Muntu plays music as a DJ. And she likes DJs. Oh, that's it. I'm in. That's when you know I'm in. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if you're listening to us, we're on WhatsApp. You can dial your number on WhatsApp. Plus one seven zero three three five zero three seven three one. It's plus one seven zero three three five uh, three zero. Is that right? Seven zero three three five zero three seven three one. Plus one seven zero three three five zero three seven three one. Let's listen to this song. We'll be right back with more guests. Love this song by Mafo, um, Naira Marley, Young John Mafo. This song is so cool. It makes you move like this is just you know, eh, eh. Sidra, can you bring me just just a little, just a little up? Yeah, I like that. Listen to that. Uh, you tell me what you think about this song, man. It just I makes love you, it. Is, is, I love don't you it. love it? Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, I heard in one of the bar. I mean, I didn't go to the bar. I was driving outside. I didn't go to the bar. I mean, I got, I gotta get this straight. I didn't go to the bar. I was driving outside in Ghana in Accra. I was driving. I said, hey, Ali, I didn't go in. I wanted to go in though. The music one. <laughs> Listen, let's go to uh, Ghana right now because uh, Dorcas, my friend Dorcas from Ghana, is on the phone right now. Hello, Dorcas. Hello, Rosa. How you doing, Dorcas? I'm doing well, yes, y'all. You're live right now. Do you know that? You can listen to yourself on the radio in Accra on 98.1. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> All Ghana's listening to you right now. You better know that. That's what you know. You're on 98.1 FM in Ghana. So, find the radio. Put 91.1 FM. Just be careful what you're going to say, Dorcas, because you never know. All right. <laughs> All right, Roger. <laughs> Dorcas, it's so good to have you as a guest uh, uh, on this show tonight. Dorcas, tell us a little bit about you. What do you do, Dorcas? Um, can you come? Roger, pardon me. I, I didn't hear you very well. Say it again. She didn't hear you quite well. Oh, I didn't hear my cry well. I said, tell us, yeah. t- tell our yeah. listeners a little bit about you. What Dorcas does? What do you do? My name is Dorcas, um, Dorcas Amano. Um, I'm a student in college, mm. and I have um, a foundation called Girls Can Lead and um, a, C- a TV online TV show as well. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
TV show yes. online. So definitely Dorcas is a colleague of us. She's also a journalist, so which great. is great. She's also a student, as uh, she just said herself. Dorcas, it's great to have you. Uh, Sunday's my colleague here live. Jean-Louis also in the studio, uh, and we have you in uh, Accra right now. We are talking about online dating today because it's becoming a big business, big industry today. And um, I'm yes. just, I'm just gonna ask you a question. Like it's not personal. I'm just, I'm just asking you a question. Like in general, I know you're laughing. Don't start laughing. Look, let me finish my question first. <laughs> Okay. If you go, on, okay, if you go, right. if you go online right now, what would you be looking for yeah. in a relationship? And uh, why would you go online to find a relationship? I, I think that um, your the guest who was on earlier on said something that I would probably side with him. A lot of young people, especially now, are probably online looking for relationships because they've been out of bad ones, and so they they, do, they want to get to meet new people. People. Uh-huh. Do, they do not know, and mm. I think I think that's that's one of the main reasons that it's, it's having people to be on um, online looking for relationships. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 So you are you siding with uh, Sunday yeah. now? And Sunday, you see, you you said everything. Yeah. And, and Dorcas mm-hmm. is always. She's agreeing with you. She's right yeah. because people are so busy yeah. these days. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to find someone. Yeah. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Do you, you do you have yeah. a question for Dorcas? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Dorcas? Because. Uh, this business is so popular in North America and Europe in yeah. general. What do you think changes in Africa right now? Because we do know that the lifestyle in these areas is forcing people to go yeah. such a situation. What is happening in the lifestyle in African people and why do you think this business is happening in Africa right now? Okay. So, um, personally, I've, I've not had friends who um, use online dating, and mm. so I, I can't really um, say much about that aspect. But I've, I've, I've seen people who want to who want to probably get to know what happens there a lot of the time because they've seen the apps on the Play Store and on App Store, and mm. they want to know what's happening on these sides. Mm. But I've not had a, I've not had a personal experience with someone who's um, actually using um, a, a dating side so mm. I, I cannot really tell what what the real situation is on the ground mm, mm, mm. yeah and uh jean louis you were gonna add something i, I saw you uh thinking yeah about... um basically you know people are technology savvy you mm. know when they discover something mm. and they see what they can do yeah mm. you know they expand yeah. they expand on that i mean the the industry didn't create it people the need for people yeah. created that that need you know right and then uh, yeah. people take advantage of it and it's, it's a great way first of all you know we started to be able to connect to family overseas you know everywhere you have friends mm-hmm. you have you're able to connect with them right and why not yeah. you know, meeting yeah. somebody that you might like and then you know eventually developing something so so it, it, it's, it's it's evolving you know with advantage and disadvantage of course because you know you get some people that you yeah. know they yeah. will go online and, and lie on their profile take, yeah. and yeah. then the day you meet him is a what it's a whole disaster yeah. exactly. it's, a, it's a whole disaster exactly. that, that's yeah. why that's why one of the yeah. one of the main questions you should ask when you go online dating you say you you ask the person if it's a girl or it's a guy you ask what are you looking for in a relationship so you know possible answers to Roger. yeah yes yes yeah, but I, I think that you cannot really tell what the person is looking for. Yeah, yeah, And the yeah, person yeah, might I, not really tell you exactly what they are looking for. But, but I mean... Because everybody is, is... Like, most people are on this dating side uh-huh. asking to be who they're not. Right. And so you realize that a lot a lot of the time from articles you read... Right. Co- uh, ...with issues concerning dating sites, you realize that you meet someone who is fat or uh, um, slim or pretty or fair or uh-huh. black on a dating site uh-huh. and then you meet them in person and they're a different person altogether. Right. You know, so sometimes you can't really tell what what yeah, these yeah, people are looking yeah, for. Yeah, looking for, but I'm saying, I'm so, just I'm just thinking, right, Dorcas? I'm just thinking it's worth asking yeah. that question because you can, might get possible answers yeah. like such as, somebody might just say, look, I'm just looking uh, to yeah. have fun or uh, if I meet the right woman or the right man, I, I would want, you know, uh, yeah. I, I want an open relationship yeah. or I'm looking for the one, you know. So so that would at least, like, situate you mm-hmm. and where you're going with this relationship. Don't, don't, don't you think Exactly, that? so you know what yeah. to expect. Yeah. You, you know what to expect. You get yourself into the business. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Ex- exactly. You know, 
I, yeah. All I say is this, mm. Raja Moon, all the time. This yeah. is like Matrix. Remember the movie Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Either the blue pill or the red oh pill. Oh my God, Sandy. You, <laughs> you had to break. You gotta choose, my friend. <laughs> you gotta choose. But it, 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 it's, it's very true. But you know, I, I would love to meet yeah. the yeah. expert, the person who knows the right questions to ask to get the person, you know, yeah. I mean, really to get the person to tell you exactly what they are because, you know, Somebody told me that you know sometimes the food and relationship is a bunch of lies that you put together. You know? <laughs> right. Actually, when you go to a bar and you've been drinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you say just about anything. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> God, get, 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 be careful yeah. with it. So we know yeah, Sunday has to leave. Careful. We know we know Sunday has to leave. We have to let Sunday leave. But we're gonna listen to music. music. Dorcas, don't leave yet. Stay with us. Uh, Sunday, we're gonna say goodbye All to right. you. Thank, thank, you, thank you, so you so much, much Sunday, for coming. Uh, we're gonna, uh, so we're gonna say goodbye to you by listening to Fire okay. Alpha B, Kings of of the wolves. Girl, no, the farm. Girl, no, the farm for me. Girl, make me go. Girl, come my way. Come here. Girl, don't you know. Say you're the one for me. Show up on me, show. Oh, you be the one that they like my fire. Calm down, let me take you high. Yeah. Slow down, girl, girl, see the accent. You be the one that they like my fire. Oh, oh, oh. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah. And this is uh, uh, great, great music. Uh, I'm sure uh, Jean-Louis, I'm getting calls here on uh, WhatsApp. It's like ringing. And um, it, it, it's just it's just great, this technology thing, the way it's going. Like, especially when you put a subject Absolutely. on social media, you get all uh, those, um, you know. Uh, but but this, is a, this is a good subject, you know. It's a, it's a really good subject nowadays. That that's what we added to this to discuss this. Yeah, you know? that's true. And, and but you see what I was telling uh, Dorcas and, and, and Sunday. Why uh, you know that should be one of the first question because you need to kind of situate it where the relationship is going. You know, and uh, and, and and that's one of the question. You know, uh, I was talking to one of one of them, uh, a friend of mine who uh, is um, um, uh, I forgot how you called him. But, but like, like a marriage counselor and things like that. He was giving me all those tips and he was like, look, this is what the first question should be. You know, 
whether uh, whether uh, Rob McLean agree with me or not. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the shows you know Rob McLean can come as a guest now, you know. For, uh, <laughs> giving us his uh, de- oh, dating oh, oh, experience. You, oh, you know he's not going to come to this until somebody comes to this show. Yeah, we know. All right. So anyway, let me, uh, it's Candy here. Let me talk to Candy. BB. Hey, hey. Oh, Candy's here. Can we clap a hand for Candy if she's not here? That, 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 that's that's my girl, Candy. Candy, hey, it's so great. Candy, it's I'm great. Good. It's great to have you, Candy. Uh, I have my friend uh, uh, Dorcas in Accra. You heard Sandre. Jean-Louis here with me. Uh, do you have time for us today, Candy? Of course I do. Mm-hmm. I know you do. Well, <laughs> let me, uh, I know, uh, Candy, you are an... Uh, uh, Wait, Jean Louis, Jean is laughing over there. Listen, I, I know you um you are you are an MC, you are an international MC, you're well known, you do a lot of stuff, but I feel like I'm I'm not giving all the information about you. Can you tell a little bit about yourself? Tell our listener who Candy BB is. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Candy BB or um, Arts by my alias goes BBMC. Mm. I am an international bilingual master of ceremony. Mm. So for all your events, all your weddings, your graduations, I mean your baby showers, I'm your go-to person. Mm-hmm. Wow. Words, cool. <laughs> it's she's way bigger than that. She's humble. She's humble. She's not giving all the information, but that's okay. <laughs> we just take whatever she's giving us. <laughs> so, Kenny, it's, it's also it's great, and you you also have your own show, correct? I do. When yeah. I'm starting my talk show, it's going to be called BB's Chat Bowl. Uh-huh. It's going to be a Facebook Live talk show. I'm actually airing my first episode next Saturday. Wow. So I hope you guys will be tuning in. I'm very excited. Oh, we will be tuning in. Ooh. I mean, when I saw that, I was like, maybe she should be a guest on my show <laughs> and talk about this uh, subject. I mean, online dating today. Candy yeah. BB, it's a big thing today. As Dor- Dor- my friend Dorcas and uh, 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 Sunday were talking about, um, uh, and 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 you you probably had a chance to listen a little bit about what we were talking about. But it's, yeah. it's a big thing nowadays. You know, when when it came out, when people start started this whole thing, and as I was saying, there's some people who are veterans today, man. They know it inside and out how to do it yeah. online. You know what I'm saying? But for some people, it's still a new thing. So w- would you would you would you say that it's safer today than it was when it uh, actually started? Well, I don't know about it being safer, but I think that now we have a lot more precautions that we can take. Okay. So of course, when you're venturing into something like online dating, safety has to be your number one priority. Aha, uh-huh. safety. Yeah. I need to write yeah. this down. Safety, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So I think that now people know. You know, people are getting more signs and online dating etiquette you know mm-hmm. so people are actually reading through some warning signs just like in a regular relationship right you have your red flag right but when it comes to online dating you also have online dating etiquette like things that you should look for right. and then you know mostly follow your intuition when somebody's like crooked you can kind of tell right right you know, unless you're really stubborn and desperate but you can kind of tell <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look you say you can kind of tell how can you tell let me tell you, yeah. you can kind of tell. If somebody's telling you, for instance, they're buffing themselves up to be this big shot and everything, mm. and they never, if, if, if somebody that you're dating in Africa, they never have credit to call you, you have to call them at ah, red flag. She knows what she's talking like, about. That. <laughs> or if he starts asking you to send him money overseas, he's ever, yeah. he or she always has a problem at ah, Oh, you good? You good? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, no, that's all I was saying. Oh my God, those were just examples. Now, let, let me tell you, Candy, we're so, we're so, I'm so happy to have you, uh, really tell us today. But I can, I, I don't, I don't hear, but I, I can just see, I can feel like Dorcas in Agra is uh, in Accra is laughing. Dorcas, you heard what Candy said, right? Uh, see, I knew she was laughing. I know you agree with Candy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Oh, course, oh, like, oh, if you yeah, disagree, you know, oh, if you disagree, you can say it too. It's fine. Yeah. I'm. Not, I, I don't totally disagree with her, but I mean, obviously, what she said uh, is um are basic things that when you meet somebody online, and then in the next two weeks, they want you to send them five hundred dollars. Their mom is sick. Their dad is sick. I mean, come on. There's mm-hmm. a basic red flag for you to know that this person is trying to take advantage of you. But I also feel like um, you might probably meet people online and they might voluntarily want to help you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> maybe they, they might want to send you $200 a week for upkeep or something. It, it mm-hmm. happens. So I, I don't think it's, it's always it's always the people who, who ask 
sometimes. I think most of the time, other people also want to give. I mean, people and have so problems. We also be sad mm. when, when somebody voluntarily wants to give you something when they barely know you online. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I mean, I, I definitely, I definitely agree with both of you. And generally, I don't know if you want to have something to add. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah. but, you know, like, I've seen people, like, you know, like, they, they, they befriend you, okay, one yeah. time. Right. You say, okay, yeah. cool, no problem. Yeah. Then the second, third time, they start calling you my love and stuff like that. Like, Bam, like wait a minute. Red flag right there. <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. Like, wait a minute. Candy, Candy what you say? Candy, we... Okay. I said red flag right there. <laughs> you tell you go my see, inbox see. is full of okay. clothes. My love. Yeah, my Since, love. Yeah. Since Since when? Not me. I could have one crook and tell. Since and you're when? you me your love. Like, right. chill. See, because yeah, I'm trying to see like what the <laughs> steps are, you know, because you can't be jumping that high, mm. that fast. Right. You know, like there's no there's no transition. There's no, uh, you know, deer, yeah. whatever. All right. You know, so, so, yeah. So, so, that, so that's a big one, too. All right. So so I was talking about a few things that you should ask on those first date, whatever. Uh, uh, my second thing, and, and I don't know if you all agree with me or not, but I think this question is also normal. And I was talking to my friend, and, and we thought about it. It's, it's okay to ask this question. This is the question. What is your most embarrassing moment? You can ask that on a date. Now, let me tell you why. I see Jean-Louis giving me those big eyes. Let me tell you why. Because because this question will help you determine if your online date has a sense of humor. Yeah. Right. That, that's true. Oh, right? That's like, a good point. Yeah, that's a good Open point. up with the story, you know, it's a great way to, like, uh, you know, grace the wheels a little bit, you know, uh, so, so, so you can start feeling comfortable, smile a little bit about it. Look, if I ask you this question and, and you start getting mad, we have a problem. <laughs> like, like Candy say, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yes. Go, go ahead, Dorcas. But I, I do not have any problem with asking all of these questions. Yes. But in the end, the, the point is, yeah. how how sure are you that the, the person is going to tell you everything as, as real as it is? You know, mm-hmm. is the person going to actually really open up and tell you what the reality is? Or but, the, but, but, the but person you, wants to but, get your attention? But you know, Dorcas, that's a good question. But Candy already answered that question by saying... Uh, something that Candy said. Yeah. Yeah, but, but Candy said something like, uh, uh, like, like, like you don't know. We, we're just trying. Like you really, you, you, like, like you would know. Candy was saying earlier. Yeah, yeah. she was saying okay. you. She, Candy was saying okay. you will figure out. You, there's some of those things that you would know that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then it doesn't hurt to keep uh, asking the question and see how that. many different answers you get. Right. You know? Right. I've right. taught people in lives and conversations okay. like that. So even online, yeah. you know, keep asking the same question in different manners, right. and then you kind of get a different answer every time. Red <laughs> flag. <laughs> So and how about how about uh, how about this? How about, um... Oh my God! Let, let, let's just take a quick break, guys. We'll be right back. Music, Shata Wale. I love Shata Wale. I love Shata Wale. Tell us, Shata Wale is big in uh, Accra, right, Dorcas? Shata Wale is really big. Uh, Shata Wale is big in, in where you come from, correct? Dorcas. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. I yeah. Heard, I heard somebody was telling me when I was in Ghana, uh, uh, Dorcas, that Shatawale cannot be walking on the street. People will be behind him all the time. Exactly all the time. Oh my God. All the time. Wow. Let's listen <laughs> to Baby yes. Chop Kiss Shatawale. <laughs> I can't forget. 
Great song, Shata Wale. This is Roger Muntu. You're listening to uh, Voice of America from Washington, D.C. And today we'll listen to great music. We have great guests, and we're talking about online dating. Ay, 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 ay. So we have Candy uh, uh, here in Maryland, and we have uh, Dorcas in Accra. Jean Louis, these ladies are amazing, aren't they? Fantastic. I, I mean, they know their stuff. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I wanted to ask a question, though. You had a question to who? Know, Keep them uh, on I mean, the ship so we them. know who we are. Both of them. Uh, pick one first. Okay, Candy. Candy. Let's go to okay. Candy. That's easier because there's a lot of noise. Let's get Candy first. Yeah. Yeah. What about, you know, these pictures that people post sometimes, you know? They look, I mean, to me, it, it looks like, uh, you know, people, they glam themselves out more than what they really are. You know, they, they, they look mm-hmm. like, when you when you look at the pictures, you know, they look like, I mean, they're having the time of their life, but it's... I don't know. Doesn't that take you away? You know, like take something away from from uh, you know just uh, the the old experience. What do you think? I, I agree. It does take everything away, but you have to understand that we live for the gram these days. So there's mm. not a lot. Of, I mean, I'm going to speak for women. I know there's not a lot of us who are confident enough to be online naturally. There's not a lot of us. Now, if you're in this dating pool and you're online and you're looking for somebody artificial, the greatness about it is you can find as much of that as possible. It's like a grocery store. But if you're also looking for somebody who's authentic, you know, and comfortable being natural, mm-hmm. that's also a conversation I feel like you can have in inbox with them. Mm-hmm. You know, and if they're honest, they can tell you, well, this is me on a good day. The conversation starts online, but then later it does go into your private cell phones and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. I think it's really up to what, what what is it that you're looking for. If you're looking for a slay queen, a slay mama who's forever on her A-game, hey, you can shop right there too. But mm. if you're also looking for somebody who's authentic and natural, there's also women like that. But are those the type of women that a lot of men online are drawn to? Mm. You also mm. kind of have to you know, throw back that question to you guys. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a really good point. I'm going, mm-hmm. with my, I'm going with my questions. Number three questions of this evening. What does your ideal Saturday morning look like? <laughs> all right, all right. Because I'll, t- I'll tell you why. I'll tell you okay. why. Because having similar schedule uh, or ideas for how to spend a weekend is a good indicator of what your, uh, you know, uh, compatibility, if I should say, uh, with uh, your online date is. You see what I'm saying? See if your time will match, if uh, your... You know, because if somebody, if you ask me that question, I say, well, Saturday, I'm at work. That's it. As Candy say. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> you are. That's Candy say. Uh, question number four goes a little bit what you're saying, Jean-Louis. This is a question. What about your profile? What, what about my profile made you want to write me? Because this can't help. Question. This can't. <laughs> <laughs> this really that, that's a really good question that's why you see people start going uh, 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 uh. right candy go ahead tell I, I, I need to comment on that um, what was the question again sorry the, about the, the, the question what was, my Saturday the, the, morning looks like no the question that I want you to comment about is, is, is number four what about my what about my profile made you 
want to write me? I mean, it's about personal preference. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact, for me, if I was looking for a date online, the first thing that I would be looking for is a bold man, because I love them bold, Roger. Uh -huh. I love them bold. Please, I, 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 bold. don't, We're gonna don't say that because I'm, I'm bold. I'm looking at myself now. <laughs> I don't know if you about me, so I'm, are you scaring me now? <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> We are, and I'm looking around, and I'm looking around me in this, in this, uh, in this studio. We have like five bald men. Yeah, Only no. one man called Rob McLean has hair. Yeah. So we're like a five bald man in this. So I don't know who you're talking about, but that's okay. We're like, just, just kidding. I mean, I think that when uh, your profile picture, first of all, when you're online and you're trying to date, yes. let it be as honest as possible. Mm, let mm. it show you, of course, in your best light. And if you're a person who like filters it, that's fine. Mm. But you know, like put a put a picture that reflects a little bit of who your what your personality is. Right. And then again, it's what the person if, if that's what the person is looking for. Right. If you don't like me, I I will go past the person who has a, a, he a head a head full of head because I'm not attracted to. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not attracted to men mm. with hair on their head. But if you're bald, I'll give it a second look. Mm. So you know, it, it depends. You so have the appearance, you know, it's all depends. Right. Looking for specific physical features, so right. Right. that's what they're looking for. Well, accentuate those right. if you have them. Right. Accentuate them in the most honest way possible. In the most honest that's way possible. Ask. In the most honest way possible, because we know that there's also plenty of lies in, exactly. in those online dating. Uh, let's go back to Ghana with uh, Dorcas. Dorcas, Candy was talking earlier about Hello? about uh, Dor uh, uh, Candy was talking earlier about safety. Uh, if you have to advise yeah. uh, people today, especially young people today who just got himself into those dating as well, because at, at first, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but when dating, uh, online dating came, it was like more like uh, mature, uh, older people. Today, even younger kids now. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so so what, what advice would you give uh, to uh, those people who are putting themselves into that um, uh, business? Yeah. I think that not even just with online dating, but people date um, when they haven't even seen each other before, just like online dating, with, but not on dating apps, but on our normal social um, WhatsApp, um, Instagram, and, and all these other apps. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that be, be careful, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you can't really tell the real intentions of people these days. Right. And so people come with, with different intentions, and right. you have to be extremely careful. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful the kind of pictures you send, the kind of videos you send. You, you, send so you, you just have to be extremely careful. You know? Every time, make sure your A game is up. Make sure that you do not, under any circumstance, drop your guard so that you're being taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. You just have to be careful. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Just have to be careful. Candy, do you want to add something to it? it's very important like she's saying be careful because i mean it's just like in regular dating you also want to be careful so online dating you more so have to take your precautions because with online dating people are hiding behind that computer so you can't gauge yeah. what their thought process is you don't know what their characters are so you have to be careful it can be a good thing and it can also be a very dangerous thing, mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah so you have to kind of you know really be careful mm -hmm. really be careful Jean -Louis, yes, you yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right especially nowadays there's a there's a there's a trend going of uh, you know people you know they meet online they start talking they start exchanging pictures and sometimes videos that can end up you know being you know published somewhere and then you know like they ruin your own life you know so you gotta be careful you, yeah. a, you gotta be very careful right. you know even if you you know you started to feel like yeah I like this person you know we've been talking for a while but still you know mm -hmm. you still have to be careful that you know you don't give the person too much of yourself exactly. out there, you know, digitally yeah. that can be, you know, used against you for some reason. So there's, yeah, because there's a lot of crazy people out there. We also. heard, we heard <laughs> some crazy stories, man. Yeah. We yeah. heard some crazy yeah. story. Um, but, but let me go back to that question that I did last Sunday, Candy. What, in, in your opinion, what do you think people do online dating today? Today? Wow. I think it's it's right. become a trend like everything yeah. else. I mean, here yeah. in North America, we're at the point where you can buy groceries off of Amazon. True. So True. this is like a very big marketplace. And I think that the, the advantage of online dating is that you have the possibility to be selective with it. 
you can kind of see who you're dating. You can kind of date anybody from anywhere. Mm-hmm. If you're somebody who wants to venture maybe out of your race, out of your country, right. you know, out of your city, you're tired of Congolese men, for instance, and you want to date maybe somebody from Jamaica, right. well, the pool is open, you right. know. So I feel like everybody's kind of drawn to it because you have the possibility of being selected and you can kind of gauge anybody. You mm. can date anyone. Anything mm. is possible. Right. Right. So, um, Lay, uh, Lay, uh, do we have, we have our Dorcas, right? Dorcas, are you yeah. there? All right. Personal question. Thank God nobody's listening to us. Would you, would you do that? Would you actually go online? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. No, I want to no, know. No, I want to no, know. Nobody's listening, Dorcas. Nobody. Even Candy's not listening. Jean-Louis not. It's just you and I. <laughs> Would you ask? Are you supposed to ask too well? Would you do that, Dorcas? Would you? Um, what does things happen? You you cannot um say that for me, Dorcas. I'm never ever. Oh, uh, uh, let's let's clap a hand for Dorcas, man. Or, or, that's 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 just that's the perfect answer right there. I, I, you know, I was just waiting to say if she say no, I can't. I'm like, mm-hmm. that that yeah. Go ahead, Dorcas. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, and so anything can happen. I mean, right. uh, we're, we're open to try new things, but be careful and cautious. And right, so, right. I mean, mm-hmm. we're, we're up, we're up for it. We're up for anything. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but, but as you say, just be careful. Correct. That's as you say. That's which is yeah. important. All right, uh, Candy. Another question, music question. Have you ever heard that song "Bounce Back" by uh, Big Sean? Bounce Back. Yes. Don't you like that song? I do. Uh, me too, man. When I listen to that song, God. You have an event coming. Are you going to be playing that song? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. If you're going to play that song, I'm coming. So, do, do, tell us. You know, I'll t- think about it. <laughs> tell us a little bit about your event quickly. It, it, it looks like, and, and let me tell you something that you two don't know, and that's why I, the reason why I like having both of you on this show. You two are very much into empowering women. And, and you didn't know that, yeah. You both uh, on everything you do. And, oh yeah, yeah. That which which I really like because I, I love talking about that, and I love helping also uh, empowering women in the shows. Mm-hmm. That's why it's great to have you. Um, but tell us a little bit about your show, Candy. What, what are you doing? It's something that's coming up. All right, I have an event Saturday, and it's called the Dream Believe Play 2020 Vision Board Party. So I believe that visualization is the first part of reaching your goals. So together with the ladies, we're going to come out. We're going to have, I have an amazing speaker by the name of Diane Daiga coming to empower the ladies. She's going to be speaking on Mm self-confidence. I myself, I'm doing my motivational speaking debut on this day. Oh, sweet. I'm also launching my nonprofit organization Mm -hmm. um, that's going to focus on empowering and educating teen moms specifically because I'm a teen mom. Mm -hmm. Well, now I've grown, but I became a mom at 16. Mm -hmm. So I believe that my story has to be told and I have a lot to share. Mm -hmm. It's all about empowerment. So Mm -hmm. the ladies coming out this Saturday. We're actually sold out. I started at 30. I'm now at over 60 ladies. So mm. <laughs> wow. it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Wow. I'm looking wow. forward to it. This is excellent. Um, wow. And Dorcas, tell us a little bit about I know what you do, but these guys don't know what you do. Tell us what you do to empower women. Okay. So so I have a non-governmental organization. It's mm. called Girls Can Lead. Mm. So this, this pillar focuses on... Um, Empowering young girls by um, advocating for the right to education and equal access to all opportunities for girls that we connect with. And so we do not just advocate, but we have understood that there are several barriers that are stopping girls from getting access to education and to opportunities, mm. like learning materials, sanitary pads, mm. um, cult- certain cultural barriers, amongst others. So in as much as we are advocating for the rights, we're going to provide the necessary learning and reading materials that we can when, when we come into contact with these girls. So nice. these are some nice. of the things that we're doing right now. Wow, ladies, I'm proud of both of you. Jean Louis, we should definitely clap for my guests. I love them, them, them both. They're so great. And for both of you, just for you two, I'm dedicating this song, Bounce Back. Oh. <laughs> Last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Knew that it was real when I hit it, bounce back. 
took an L, but you're not a bounce back, boy. I've been broke as hell, cast a check and bounce back. D town LAX, every week I bounce back. Boy. If you a real one, then you know how to bounce back. Don't know nobody, oh nobody, always on the fucking job. I got no hobbies, got the city fucking with me, cause I'm home. Bro, I'm vibing out more than my phone. No, leave me alone, me on my own, no. I cut the bit up like an edit. My daddy is G is genetics. I heard you know is pathetic. It kind of tries to be shredded. To my dogs on a private jet from the public house, and I kept a G, yeah, 1,000. Click stars that are like the Paramount money. Everything I do is righteous. Betting on me is the right risk. Even in a f***ing crisis, I'm never on some switch of sides. I switch gears to the night shift. Blacking out because I'm enlightened. God talks to me in silence, but I hear him every time, man. Thank you, God. God bless you. Thank Last you so night much. took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stars. Knew that I was real when I hit it, bounce back. You ain't getting checks. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Boy, I've been broke as hell, cast a check and bounce back. D town LAX, every week I bounce back. If you a real one, then you know how to bounce back. Look, I woke up in beast mode with my girl that's beauty in the beast store. Bits I fight these niggas, sleep dog. Only thing that sold out is the C store. God dare you stand before me and I respect my authority. If you f my glory, I'ma drop the L and get gory. I done did everything and said worry. Hella drama, my life story. Faith of a mustard seed, I kept growing. I knew that this life was meant for me. People change up more than wishing wells. Karma come around, I wish them well. Living like I'm on a limitless pill, I kill the scene like I'm Denzel. Crazy like my jacket strapped up. I don't act, but I act up. Brown paper bag like the lunch packed up. Back, 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 back. Back up. I'ma need like 10 feet or get stomped out with 10 feet. I'ma always lose my temper. You cannot count to 10 me. If I lose one, I bounce back like two, three, deal with four, five. Seen courtrooms and court size. Ain't too many seen both sides. No, no. What you know? I'm taking back control. The underdog just turned into the wolf and the hunger steady grows. Yeah, I call shots while you call off. Never taking some more fall off. When you stay that committed to it, you just fall down and never fall off. So last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Knew that I was real when I hit it, bounce back. You ain't getting checks. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Boy, I've been broke as hell, cast a check and bounce back. D town LAX, every week I bounce back. If you a real one, then you know how to bounce back. Bounce back, bounce, bounce, bounce back, bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah, oh yeah. You're listening to uh, the RM Show at Voice of America, and we uh, thank you guys for listening to this show as you do, and uh, write to us on uh, social media, plus one, seven zero three three five zero three seven three one online dating. That was the subject that we uh, debate today with our friend, with uh, Jean-Louis, with Sunday, and of course, uh, with Candy and, and uh, Dorcas, who's in Ghana. Uh, Jean-Louis, I bet you didn't know this, though. 75% of online daters are under the age of 30. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not, uh, yeah. It, it, I'm not amazed. I mean, mm. I understand it's the sign of the time that mm. we are in right now. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's normal. Right. Uh, you, yeah. you think it's normal that, that that age group, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, under, I understand that because, they, you know, like, when you live in a city, you're like in a, like your, your routine. You you don't get to meet a lot of people sometimes in your city unless so you go So that's the convenience places. part of it, right? Then that's the convenience yeah. part of it. Yeah, right. you can meet people and then maybe they're in the next city, maybe they are in your city. That's maybe right. It depends. It, it, it depends. Makes it, it makes it Let me say easier. thank you to my uh, guest, uh, Candy. Thank you very much, Candy. That's why. And thank you, Candy. we'll try to have you you're next welcome. time. We'll bug you again. Dorcas and Accra, thank you so much, Dorcas. It's just still that dark ass. All right. Maybe she went to sleep. All right. So anyway, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank uh, Mr. Sidrak. Thank you, Mr. Sidrak, Mr. Rob McLean. Oh, my God. Two hours? You guys pulled two hours with me? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Thanks to uh, George Bluedell. Like, Yo, thank you, George, man. This was a great show. And uh, you guys who are listening to the RM Show at VOA Africa. See you next time. Uh, God bless. Peace, Africa. Peace.